welcome to the New Rugged Order Podcast, exclusively on the Hard Knock Digital Culture Channel. Now give it up to your host people, MM2K. What's up peoples, what's up peoples, what's up peoples, it is your boy MM2K back again with a hell of a panel today, man. I just got to make sure that y'all can hear them. Okay. I had to unmute them. All right, man. First, I just want to let everybody know, here's what's going on today. This is a special NRO project podcast. NRO is the new rugged order podcast where we talk about everything hardcore and relates to gaming. We had a lot of shit to talk about in regards to Phil Spencer spazzing out, taking his shrooms and going crazy on the stage. You know what I'm saying in that interview? And I got some very special people to talk about that. First and foremost, let me introduce my right-hand man. You know what I'm saying? With the master plan. My homeboy, Neethils. What's going on, Neethils? What's going on? Glad to be back. Had to take a little bit of a break. But me and you had a good discussion the other night, at least, about uh, the state of Xbox. But you know what? Can't wait to get into this topic, especially after that interview. Facts, facts, facts. And we got the dude that wait calls me 5 o'clock in the morning to play every single game in this library within 30 minutes. My homeboy, Noah J. What's going on, Noah? 706 Gamer. What's good, brother? What's good, man? Hey, I man. Gotta, you know, I got to get it in, bro. My day's off, man. Trying to catch up on some of these games. I'm backlogged like crazy. Hey, bro. Don't nobody game like Noah, man. I, and I'm, I'm going to make sure that this podcast is short and sweet so I can be ready for your 5 o'clock call, man. Uh, <laughs> and last but not least we got a real special guest my man's been blowing up the scene killing the spot all over the place i'm just making all types of hyperbole statements but i'm, I'm so excited that he could make it today my old boy who did an impromptu podcast and tore it up my homeboy d knox what's going on d yo chilling chilling man yo it's a pleasure to be here my brother i'm glad i'm glad Nice panel you've assembled here today. Awesome topics. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. All right. So it's going to be a goodie. I'm Thanks for glad having me, that you could make it, man, because uh, if y'all didn't catch it, it's, oh, on, absolutely, X- man. If, it, it, it's on Xbox channel, but because my, my homeboy D Knox has some technical difficulties, but we're going to work that out. Yeah. And I want to thank somebody. Just, just uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, but it was a phenomenal show, man. And hopefully Dean will do something like that again. Knox will do something again like that, man. That, that was that was some good shit. Yeah, man. I, I really do hope to get into it more. Even, you know, I've definitely got to learn how to do this thing. I thought it was a lot easier than, than what it was when I did it that day. But I just wanted, you know, just wanted to get that in there that day. So I'm like, yo, fuck it, man. Let's do it. And I'm glad, I'm glad you came out, man. I'm glad everybody that came came out that day. It was dirt, bot, yourself. It, it was awesome, man. I, I enjoyed it, man. The, the the, the chat was on the money. It, it was what it was, man. And the gamer banter, all that good stuff. All right, oh, let's yeah, hop yeah. into it, y'all. Um, here's the deal, man. Here at the Heart Knock Digital Culture channel here on Twitch, what we try to do is we try to har- highlight hardcore gaming. Um, the purpose of this channel was to boost hardcore gaming and not necessarily point on anybody except for, you know, if some things were happening here and there. But I'm feeling a certain type of way, y'all. And it might just be me. It might just be me and my paranoid nature. But I'm feeling some type of way that we got an entity in the name of Phil Spencer and a group in the name of Xbox that's trying to kill off hardcore gaming and make it an endangered species, right? So the entire, this entire po- the, the, the purpose of this entire podcast, excuse me, is to let everybody know that as far as the hard knock digital culture in our project is concerned, Xbox is now officially on the anti-hardcore gamers watch list, okay? It's not a big thing yet to too many people, but it will be soon, trust me. So we're watching them. And with that said, we got a shit ton of things to go over as far as what the, what these initiatives were and all this. You know what I'm saying? Like, why did we put them on this watch list? The main, I, I think the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back, if it wasn't E3, was this Fortune Magazine interview. I'm going to go down the pan. I'm going to start with my homie, Dean Knox. Dean, what were your thoughts all together? I know you touched on this Sunday. Again, a fantastic show. But what are your thoughts all together on what information we received from that Fortune magazine interview? I mean, if 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 anything, it, it just shows pretty much what, what we've been talking about, like, 
this whole time as far as the direction where Microsoft is going. And finally, Phil coming out and saying, hey, you know what, man? We haven't had the best. You, you know, that that snake oil shit, he, mm-hmm. it's got to go. Like, And I think he's realizing, yo, we... We took we took a step in the direction that we were obligated to take, and, mm. and you guys already know what I what I'm referring to as to what you know why they stopped doing the things they doing and the things that they had to say to say face publicly. You know they didn't want to really, especially with the way that the console debuted. So this interview that he did, I feel that he's kind of trying to redirect things or switch things around and say, "Hey, I'm aware of our issues, and we're going to work on them." But at the same time, that's not where their initiative is going. So what he's saying and what they're doing, yeah. I, I don't see them adding up right now. You know and, what I'm saying? And, as Next Gen infamously says, the audios ain't matching the visuals. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Hey, 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 Nethals, right. what, what, are, what are your thoughts, bro? When, when you saw that, did, did you, first and foremost, I don't want to assume because Nethals is a busy man, but did you <laughs> see that Fortune Magazine interview? I did not watch the whole thing, no. I just saw a small clip of it. Okay. W- which clip was that that you caught? I watched the clip where Phil Spencer started stuttering and talking about, like, <laughs> well, you see, I have to really go back to my dad to see when we became profitable, and he was really struggling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I mean, and that wasn't the worst part. I mean, it was a particular part. Um, it where, got worse than that? Yeah, bro, where he was talking Ooh. about the inherent competition. I mean, that was we, we did a big uh, show on it last night on Z's channel where – the interviewer asked Phil Spencer point blank, well, what about inherent competition, man? Because Phil was starting off in this whole thing about, I don't want to beat one man down in order to bring one man up. And the guy's like, hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm not here for that bullshit. We're, we're talking about inherent competition. Two racers on a like, racetrack. Doesn't mean that the other racer got to clip the other one or do a Nancy friends. Kerrigan on the motherfucker. It just means competing against each other. Does that induce quality? Does that create quality? And Phil said, no. He said what creates quality is people helping out each other, hands across the world. Before, before we go any further, uh, big ups to uh, Neethals. Was that, uh, Neethals in the, in the uh, free messaging chat. He said, how is Outer Worlds on the Switch but not Battlefield? Is it really dev time? Hey, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Being that you posted that question, what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> Hey, look, Baron always says, there's no game that can't run on the Switch. And he's like, it's only the dev time. They didn't get enough dev time. But I'm thinking in my head, there's no way in hell Battlefield can run on the Switch. Let's be honest. Exactly. There's no way in hell Battlefield can run on the Switch. Just look at that damn thing. Yeah. Do you really think you would get a solid 30 frames on that bitch? Uh, I mean, they dig they... they... They're getting the Witcher running on there, supposedly, no? Yeah, Man. but look at what the fuck they had to do to the Witcher. <laughs> yeah, like, is it even Witcher anymore? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, we're talking about Battlefield. It's Battlefield's itchy. explosion everywhere. I mean, 64 players. Man, I don't know. It's itchy. Mm. It ain't even Witcher anymore. It's itchy and shit. Itchy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, <laughs> disclaimer. We got a Phil intern in here. His name is Noah. So Noah, you know, I think he likes everything that Phil feeds him. You know what I'm saying? So Phil can do no wrong. Phil can't do no wrong to Noah, man. So Noah, did you get a chance to see that entire interview? I did, bro. I did. Okay. What were your thoughts on it? Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the interview, right? Mm-hmm. Phil ain't said anything he hasn't been saying. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Bro, Phil, Phil has already told us that the first party quality been shit. Yeah. And he reinforced it. And if I'm not mistaken, just like based on, I think that interview happened prior to E3. That is correct. Yes, sir. It happened before E3. We're just now uh, seeing it. And, yeah. and so I'm reading it, but that that was pre-E3. Uh, well, he fucked I mean, up it, it so was, bad. I, I, I would assume that they, like, they said, please hold that shit. You know. Normally, he can feed us the bullshit and we're, and, well, not us, but most people be like, see, mm-hmm. see, Phil is aware of it. He's on the right path, but People are panicking now. People. Xbox are panicking, mm-hmm. but I, I still don't understand why. Because it's, it's still the same message. Yeah, he just didn't. He just didn't. Uh, he didn't put deliver. The he on didn't it deliver it with the buttery yeah, smoothness. The makeup on it right this time, right? Because he got caught off guard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same message. Yeah. What were you about to but, say, Knox? No, what I was going to say is, do do y'all really think? Okay, all right. Why? Why doesn't Microsoft? make any 
and I already know the, the why doesn't Microsoft no longer acquire second party studio exclusivity deals and why don't they get exclusive content for third party games for their platforms and for the and for the fans of their platform for the cust for their customers why did that stop um there's you want the truth or you want the uh Phil's excuse I, I, I want I want you gentlemen's opinion what y'all think yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like come on Okay, so we'll, we'll start with Phil's opinion because, you know, mm. we still got half of the Xbox brass like knocks that, that mm -hmm. you know, Phil can't do no wrong. You know, he's, he's the re, he's the reemergence of John Lennon, right? So with that being said, Phil says that the reason why he doesn't want to do this is because he doesn't want to hold content from other gamers. I think that's like 25% true. I think the other 75% is based upon the reaction that he got from the mainstream media when... <laughs> They did when 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 they didn't have it available for the PlayStation. Now that was a board that was media bias. They attacked them, and you know, I, uh, um, Phil does not have nerves to steal. I don't think, and I think he just buckled to pressure. That's my thoughts. Mm -hmm. But he's not he's not keeping. Ha All right, see to me, this is just a a bullshit wordplay PR Facts. speak. This is PR speak yes. for shit. We are not being granted the authority to do these things and solidify these deals anymore. How are we going to spin it to our advantage for now? You know how? We blow smoke up our consumers' ass telling them that we're doing it for them. We're keeping contents. There's only one gamers. That, there's only one class of gamers he kept contents out of the hands of. Mm -hmm. That's Xbox gamers, bro. Yeah. He didn't keep that shit out of Sony gamers' hands. He didn't keep that out of Nintendo's hands. So you mm -hmm. think, you think, Knox, that he's getting orders from above to where he can't deliver this type of content. I think Microsoft was in a position where they couldn't do anything. They weren't sure where the brand was going Gotcha. until now. And the direction that they're going in now, I'm particularly not feeling it because they stopped doing those second party deals and those exclusive content deals. Because had you done that and just given us the everyone the complete package, I don't care if you make games like Super Lucky's Tale, as yeah, long as you exactly. make some uh, as long as you make some other Gears of War type hot shit that ain't gears, but something new that is that dope, or solidify me an exclusivity deal for Odyssey or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Could you imagine nobody would be bitching and moaning if mm. you had some hot ass content in between those subpar offerings. But when you just get subpar after subpar after subpar after subpar, it, it, this is what it leads to. And I get it that gaming is subjective. I understand that. It's always to our own opinion. Mm -hmm. But but I can enjoy see a thief. No, I can't. <laughs> I, I, not, no, I can't jump off that cliff no, now. I can't. Let me, let, <laughs> I, can, I can say that. I enjoyed Quantum Break. And I enjoyed god of war gotcha. but which is the more quality product when you as a whole when you see it you go quantum break was great i enjoyed it yeah, it was yeah. awesome nice average game a lot of room for improvement yeah. god of war you play that shit was phenomenal mm -hmm. unbelievable i can't believe game. games like that exist gotcha. yeah that's what i'm talking about. absolutely no and before I, I i turn it over to needles and get his thoughts um, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of the conversation we were trying to have with dirt on Sunday, right? Knox, where we were like, where I think bot was like, hold on. You guys act like that. These double a games can't, you know, don't have any room to survive. And I was like, that's not it. It's like, bot me and you are at like a courtyard or somewhere where they're having a picnic and we're starving. We haven't eaten in days. And we're like, Oh, can we get some of that food? And they're like, Oh, we'll take care of you. And first they bring us some water. And they were like, okay, well, we thank you for the water. You know, water's cool and all, but we're not really thirsty. We're hungry. And they're like, okay, well, we'll get you something else. And they start bringing us apple juice. And we're like, hold on, we don't want no damn apple juice. Can you please get us some food? And then they come back with some tang. By that, by the third time, we're like slapping the fucking tang out their hands. So it's like the brass is, it's not that the tang and the apple juice and the water ain't no good. It's the fact that this is not what we're hungry for. We are hungry for the AAA hardcore gritty content. So you have to give us that, then supplement the Sea of Thieves and the State of Decay, and then you wouldn't hear this uproar. But the fact that Microsoft refuses to do that, like has been said earlier, just proves that I don't think that they're looking to do it in, 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 in totality at all, besides Halo, Gears, and Forza. I, I agree. What's your thoughts I on that, Nethals? 
Uh, just real quick about the whole exclusivity deals. I think uh, Knox is more or less right with what he just said. Mm-hmm. I think really it's just them saving money. And then what you said, Moss, they don't really want the backlash. Because let's be real, when uh, was it Rise of the Tomb Raider happened, yep. they got all the backlash in the world. Why is this not on PlayStation? When's the PlayStation release date? It got so bad that even the developers had to literally tweet out randomly, yeah. oh, it's coming to PlayStation at this time. And Before they the game have, even released. And That's they shouldn't have crazy. done that. Yeah. And they sh- That's and they fucking shouldn't, crazy. Yeah, they shouldn't have done that. Microsoft shouldn't have allowed them. Sony will never allow them to do that. Like I said, right? That, I, I didn't mean to cut you off, Nito's my bad. They're good. No, no, no. But, that was a good but point. Look, 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 look at with Destiny 2, right? Mm-hmm. It's 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 4K native 4K on the on the X and checkerboard 4K on the Pro. I own the yep. I own both of them. 30 FPS, everything pretty much relatively the same. Microsoft was not allowed. I mean, Bungie was not allowed to say anything, even when they were asked. Facts. They were never Facts. allowed to speak. And why? Because Sony said, "Don't you dare don't say you that say their version is better word. than ours." That's how you mm-hmm. do it. Don't you That's say a you... motherfucking word. Yeah, it's true. You, you <laughs> gotta be shoddy to the chin, Dave. Don't you gotta you say a motherfucking ruthless. word. You gotta be ruthless in business, man. Because yeah. look, man, like Microsoft being great makes makes Sony great, and vice versa. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And it, we need that. Absolutely. We need it. Yeah, but it depends on who can handle the heat, right? Like yeah. Sony, we can see them even when their company goes under heat. They more or less stay strong to the award, or they'll finally compromise. Like, look at the whole crossplay debacle. Yeah. The media didn't let up on Sony. Yeah, right. They mm-hmm. had to literally come out and bend the knee. They mm-hmm. had to. They didn't want to, but they had to. Anyways, we have to look at the last time Knox also alluded to when you get exclusive DLC, right? For you know, my Call of Duty used to have exclusive DLC with Xbox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last game that did that was the first Division. I remember that it was the first. It was the first game in a long yeah, time. Yeah, that is right. DLC. Yeah. They got heat for that too. Yeah. So I think ultimately Phil looked at his checkbook. He looked at, look, we shell out this money. I get this money to do these exclusive deals. Well, actually, he didn't even do them. It was really um Donnie D, right? Yeah. Donnie D is the one who did the great things. So <laughs> even when this happens, we can see all we get is backlash for it. So why waste money doing this? Let's just take this money and we're going to invest in doing our own dumb shit. Let's put this in toward Game Pass. Let's put this into whatever the fuck they do with it. Save it for our studio acquisition. Clearly, they're afraid of their shadow like Monty Moss alluded to in that past show. They're afraid of it. They don't want backlash. And it's sad because at the end of the day, you got to make those big moves in order to get capital. They're not willing to do it. Oh, they're willing to do it a different way. Mm -hmm. And that's that's by putting... As much as there as as many Microsoft things as you can use. You want to use Havoc? Go ahead. You want to use Azure? Go ahead. You want mm-hmm. you want you want to allow us to put games on your console? Go ahead. That is that is what Microsoft wants to do. Yeah. They want to have their hands in everybody's pocket. They want to be a backbone. Yeah. And you know what? If that's what you want to do, just be transparent about it and do it. And I mean, it's it's oh my god, it's going that way. It's going that way. I, I hate to believe it, but it is because here's the thing they can do that stuff it's cool like you just said that shit's cool it makes you money whatever but where is the benefit to the consumer that's what we're all asking we're not talking about i want this shit to be exclusive to my console nothing like that i don't give a fuck if it goes to pc yeah i don't give a fuck if you can stream it on mobile yeah. where is the goddamn content yeah. like they, they just stopped doing second party deals because they're afraid of their own fucking shadow the last thing they did was the PUBG deal and i'm pretty sure that's only because of mike Barra. Like, let's be real. It's probably mostly because yeah. of Mike Ebar oh, yeah, that that yeah. deal even happened. And that's where I say, well, back to back to the point that was made earlier about why did Crystal Dynamics come out there and do that? I truly think in my heart of hearts that Phil does not like any pressure. I, th- I think he wants a whole pressureless atmosphere that's why they don't work on crunch which i have my own thoughts about crunch and we'll get into that juicy part later but i I think that's why they're trying to eliminate crunch altogether i think that's why instead of him fighting for inherent competition he now wants to help (laughs) help the competition right and and i it wouldn't i wouldn't put it past phil for him to call up crystal dynamics and say you know what Man, this is too much for me, man. Fuck this. I'm going to sit under my desk for the next three days. Can you get out there on those interwebs and tell those motherfuckers that it's coming to PlayStation? You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised because there was no inkling that Microsoft was upset when Crystal Dynamics did that. Just like out of nowhere, guys. Remember when Platinum Games out of nowhere said we shouldn't blame Microsoft 
for the uh, what's it called, Dragon Deal or, or uh, Scalebound Deal? For the Scalebound, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think they didn't come out of nowhere and do that. I think Microsoft is nudging people in certain places like chess pieces to to beat their mouthpiece because Microsoft don't like to get in front of a lot of their things often. They had Digital Foundry tell you about the power of the X. They got IGN for God knows why d- uh, demo in their fucking games when they don't even know what to do in Crackdown 3 for crying out loud. So again, it wouldn't put it past me if Microsoft had Crystal Dynamics do that. Well, you know, they went to those two outlets because those were, let's face it, one of the ones that, those were the two outlets that were crucifying the shit out of the Xbox One, this whole generation. So they probably felt, hey, you know, the enemy, you know, they they will show them, you know what I mean? Look, they're going to be talking about our shit. They're going to be, we show them some love and maybe they'll (laughs) talk nice about us. Yeah, right. (laughs) You You talk about backfire, but uh... (laughs) I don't, I, I wouldn't have done that. Absolutely. I, if I was, if I'm them, if I was Microsoft, I definitely wouldn't have done it. Especially not with the announcement of the X. Yeah. With, over at Digital Foundry, I'd have got somebody else, or I would have just done a, a fucking inside Xbox episode that would have been worth a damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're bringing it back, so we'll see. Maybe it'll finally be worth a damn. All right, all right, guys. So, Xbox negating the hardcore, like Xbox not looking past the hardcore. We touched a little bit on, on it. Um, in my mind, I think what Xbox is doing is they don't want to come up with consistent AAA content, but they can't come out and outwardly say it as far as they're concerned. Why? Because who else is going to pay for their Game Pass subscription? You know, it's us silly motherfuckers paying that subscription, waiting for this AAA content to come, and them speaking vaguely and making us think like it's right around the corner, that perpetual state of wait. So in my mind, the things that cause... That, that I think that stood out as them turning away from the uh, hardcore was their dice speech in 2018, where they praised Sony more than their own shit. They're equating Sea of Thieves and Super Lucky Tales as AAA content. They're saying that games are more than kills and headshots. And then more recently, this this uh, Fortune magazine um, article. What are you guys? What are you guys' thoughts on that? Would you agree? Disagree? You think there's more? Did I forget something? What do you think about that? Is, is, is it relevant or is it is it? How can I say? Is it very noticeable that they're pivoting away from the hardcore? Hey, um, uh, real quick, one thing I did notice in that interview is uh, and Phil Spencer used the term friend a lot. Oh yeah, like Phil Harrison, he's a good friend. Yeah, of oh mine. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoshida, yeah. he's a good friend of mine. Just. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's really concerning. Yeah, because and I think that's a now I do think that's a Sachi and Nadella thing. Like Sachi and Nadella is that straight Silicon Valley mind state where we don't compete in front of the cameras. We just compete behind the scenes with lawyers and patents and shit like that. Um, yeah. So I, I do think that that's language that he acquired from him. But what do you guys think about that? Uh, about them pulling away from the hardcore? What are the noticeable signs to you guys? <laughs> No, all all of what you said, <laughs> all of the above, man. Uh, yeah. uh, all of it. It's like it's, it's, first off, triple A games being announced, like the whole E three uh, twenty nineteen presentation. Yeah, I, I forgot that. Thing. I forgot that. Pretty much. I was. Case. We were traumatized. Look, Z still looking for an apology. That motherfucker ain't getting shit from me. I'm not apologizing for shit. <laughs> I said what I said. That's right. I wrote an op ed. <laughs> take that. Take that and leave it, Z. But uh, yeah, that that was that's a good one. That that 2019. What do you what do you got? I, you know what? This is the first time that I think all of us on this panel sat together, really for the first time, but in general, and talked about that E3 again. Let, let's talk about it. What in that E3 stood out to you that may may have made you feel they're really not looking to service me with hardcore content? Color Baby books, Simulator, <laughs> Flight Simulator instead of Fable. Like there's too many things. Yeah. Anything that stick out to you, Dean? As far as like them the, going, them heading in the direction that I don't want. Yeah, don't like want in E3 2019. Like, what made you? What? What were like? If you had to pick one or two things, what were one or two things you were like? What the fuck? Hold on, Dean. They're not looking to provide AAA content. Anything that you've seen at that E3 that made you feel that way? Well, I mean, the fact that they didn't have any AAA content to show. <laughs> I mean, they, they didn't yeah. even show. They didn't even show gears. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was waiting to see that, and they didn't show it. I was waiting to see Fable. That yeah. flight simulator. Listen, that flight simulator looked 
dope, you know, visually. And if you're a fan of that, but that's a PC related thing. Like that's not a, that's not a E3 Xbox on stage, you know, presentation thing that they should be showing. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah. Like, like that's, that's not the base for that. That's, that's, that's going to receive that flight simulator game very well at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Because Fable would have went a hell of a longer way over, especially when, you know, the Halo Infinite thing was not that fantastic. It looked cool. It looked all right. It, it, you know, what killed me about that is when Phil Spencer came out again with his PR speak prior to E3 saying, oh, well, we, we, we need to build this powerful beast of a rig to run what you're going to see mm -hmm. at, with Halo Infinite because it's just the, the, the X mm -hmm. can't do it any justice. Yeah. But when I saw that, I'm like, there's nothing I didn't see there that I haven't seen on an X. Yeah. Dogs, like, yeah. like it, how are you going to say that and, and then show that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? <clears throat> yep. But... But but I mean, but it looks okay. It looked all right. I yeah, guess. yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, it, uh, it right. wasn't my. It wasn't. It wasn't the presentation that made you say, you know what? Maybe I didn't get exactly what I wanted earlier, but I left feeling okay after that. It didn't make you feel that way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not. I, I don't know, bro. Like I can't even. I can't even say that. I'm so. I'm at such a crossroads with Microsoft right now that I that I'm like, yo, I really. I really feel that, like you said earlier, right? Where he says every game is in headshots and and kills. Mm -hmm. a, yeah, like like why would you even say that yeah, exactly. when you're when, when you're known as the shooter box? You, that you're like good shooters and not known as the shooter box because that's all they could put out. No, all the good shooters were there when you wanted good content early. It, they were all there, in all the third party ones and the two best ones that you couldn't get anywhere else in Gears and Halo at one time you know what i'm saying it was like that so why would you want to steer away from that you know what i'm saying saying triple a games are lucky's tale and sea of thieves yeah <laughs> see of thieves could have been see of thieves could have been a triple a game if they would have gave it like 12 more years and finished it yeah because oh, yeah. i mean <laughs> how long how long were they making that game for the shit not to be finished they exactly. had like what seven years i think or something like that yeah or five five seven years five six years something like that that game shouldn't have been unfinished because that shit was unfinished there was nothing to do there was no content to play it was very pretty but pretty does not a game make right so and, and, and to that point you got a lot of our brass out there and no i want to get your thoughts on this uh, you got yeah. a lot of our brass out there that say you know what you guys are just bitching and moaning for no reason microsoft just bought 13 new studios or 14 whatever the hell it is they are going to tear it up with triple a content do you think that what Dean, what, what Knox just uh, just uh, 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 pronounced should make people think twice about these new studios being under the helm of Microsoft? Or do you believe Microsoft where they say they give them free, full development freedom? Man, gonna, the, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, but, I, mean, I mean, I looked at some of these studios and most of these studios are not even known for making AAA type games. Like, yeah. yeah. These are these are double A at best studios. <laughs> that's what they, that's what they got them for. Yeah, yeah. So I mean that that reinforces, um, you know, the, the statement that Microsoft is focused on on non triple A titles. Yeah, and yeah. not only that, and not only that, the other agenda too. The majority of those studios already got works in progress that will be right. on every other console. Yeah, that mm -hmm. just leads that just leads further into what I was saying. Microsoft ultimately wants to do. And this is the best way to do it. They're just doing it slick, but they're but they're going third party slowly, or at least with with the with the IP that they want to. Maybe they'll try it that way. Maybe that'll be their formula. What about IP we want? We'll put third party, and what we don't, we keep exclusive to 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 the Xbox. But if you, even if they were doing that, but when they're saying exclusives don't matter, that means they're not going to do that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it could be a scenario, and I'm sorry, neither, but it could be a scenario to where. They, if they see something lucrative, they're like, oh, fuck that. We're not just leaving it to our ecosystem. We're going to make money off of it everywhere. Now, if it's something that's rinky dink that, you know, is a good filler for, for, for Game Pass outside of Halo Gears and Forza, then we'll, we'll keep it exclusive to Game Pass. But what, what were you about to say, Nethos? My bad. Um, I was actually about to rephrase something that I heard on a podcast where I think Knox was on. I think it was Xbox Nation where Mooch said something that was really interesting. He said, 
I don't like the idea of Xbox giving these developers creative freedom because at the end of the day, if you don't have your hands on the pie at all, mm-hmm. you don't have hands on your on deck at all, yep. nothing's going to get done, right? Yep. It's like when you go to a fancy restaurant. In a fancy restaurant, do they ever say, hey, my boss is really nice? No. Yeah. They're probably an asshole, right? Yeah. Because you want a good product. Exactly. There has to be, look, there has to be leadership roles it's from be everywhere. Some stern, right? You don't have to be like an asshole, but like just No, no, stern. but I mean, if you're just going to give them full creative freedom, they're just going to keep doing what they've been doing. Hey, hey, yeah, let me, bro, let me go to work and not have to do shit. <laughs> but, like, 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 you gotta be realistic about this like sony yeah. doesn't do uh creative freedom like that yes they let you do what you want but sony you gotta make a good product like look what happened with right. god of war right quality control, like, yeah quality control that's what it is look at what happened with god of war the original yeah. version of god like, of war shit, he didn't bro. like it i know we was... don't judge i know we don't judge games before playing it but bleeding edge doesn't even look like something i would want to try <laughs> like, you know what I mean? like, <laughs> oh man shit. Man, but I, I need to try problem. Bleeding Edge, but like, look at God of War, right? They Yoshida didn't like the original version of God of War. He made them completely redo yeah, that. Exactly. That's it, what you need to do. Phil doesn't give a shit. I find it ironic that he talks to this creative freedom now, but he cancels Scalebound. Yeah, I find that fucking ironic. Yeah. And then hold on, on top of that, Nethos, he Phil canceled. Was be Scal- fired. That's why he was like, "This shit. Oh hell no." Nah. If Game this Pass was fire. out, we was a, we, our publishing stint was ready. Then yeah, yeah, we we, we put it out. I, I, here, here's what I think. I think that um, the reason why that they have this mentality about being nice to to the developers and letting the developers do their thing is that's just marketing or, or and I don't want to say that they have this approach, but they, that's just marketing. That's just, it that, is marketing because look at Jason Schreier and all the stories right now. Exactly. Look, here's the mm-hmm. thing. Phil told on himself during that your gamer interview. I say this at nauseum when he said, Oh, we gave rare development freedom and speaking of mooching crap when they were doing MNC and I, who was that that was on there from rare Craig Duncan, Craig Duncan, Craig Duncan said, <laughs> We developed Sea of Thieves with this aesthetic so it could be portable to phones and tablets. Do you fucking think that Rare really cared about their game being on fucking phones and tablets? No. That was a Phil and Satya initiative, okay? Then they also, then Phil told on himself when he said, you know, I, yeah, I love Sea of Thieves in a Eurogamer interview, he said, I love Sea of, Ge- Th- sea of Thieves. My first <laughs> direction to the team was, this has to be first person, and you have to do this and do that. That ain't development freedom. So like we just said with Yoshida and God of War and all this stuff, there's really no development freedom, but the problem is the coach. If the We don't mind somebody, you know, paying attention and overseeing what's going on, but if the coach is dog shit, then maybe we should think twice about that. So that's why I personally don't feel comfortable with 14, 15, 50 fucking development teams under Xbox. Because Phil's involved. Crackdown 3. Phil held it back. He said, it doesn't feel right. I want it to feel right. So I feel like a powerful agent. And it's the game that Xbox fans deserve. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and I guess said. we really deserve that piece of shit. Enough I mean, I mean this like waits right into the whole crunch situation. Exactly. <laughs> so... Okay, I think we all understand what crunch is, right? Like how crunch is, you really put in like your 80 hours a week or whatever the fuck, 100 hours a week to get these games done, right? A lot of the top games do this. Rockstar does it. Epic's doing it with Fortnite. Uh, Activision does it when they release their Call of Duty, so on. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. It's how you get good products. But my thing is, I'm not angry if you do anti-crunch like Microsoft does, right? That's Mm -hmm. fine if you do anti-crunch. You want to promote that work environment? Fine. Uh, One of the best studios out there. Uh, Who makes Cyberpunk? CD um, Project, Project Red? Red? Yeah, yeah. yeah they don't, I don't think they do they crunch, don't do crunch, right? Yeah. Here's the thing. That's fine if you don't got a fucking release window. Yep. If you got a release window of every three years, no crunch equals less content. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Or or unfinished content or exactly or the theme or, or, or yep. K2. Yep. 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 Well, here's what it thing. does. Here's what I feel real quick, and I want to get you guys' thoughts on this. I'm kind of like on a mixed bag as far as crunch is concerned. Only because I have programming experience. And I can tell you, I used to, I've put houses together. I've done all types, not well, but I've done all types of jobs, landscaping jobs, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Real tedious jobs. 
The most mind draining job is programming because you're sitting in front of a screen and you're trying to problem solve and do advanced math in your head. And if you're doing it for hours and upon it, I had a one project that I did for six months and I did 10, 15 hour days. That fucking killed me more than anything in life. So I get the whole crunch thing. Oh, it's driving me crazy. But with that being said, you're in a field where this is the norm. Like you look at uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. We may have felt bad for those people, but at the end of the day, that was a marvel of a game. We would, if we said, hey, well, let them go home early. We said, no, 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 no. We want to talk about this on Twitter. They still got to stay here and make this shit. You know what I'm saying? We would have never given that up. But Pretty here's sure where I blame well, Michael. And, and yeah, and they and, and they and they were very well, yeah, like you just said. Yep. Like seven oh six just said they were very well compensated for all their troubles. I'm pretty sure they got. I'm pretty sure they got bonuses and everything, bro. Fuck right. all that. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta right. work twelve hour shifts, and then I, if I want to come here and do a podcast, I gotta. Right. I, you know what I'm saying? I, that's on me. You know what I mean? But that don't mean I can't. I, I, I can't tell my employer, nah, son. Yeah. It don't work like that. Uh, I'm seven and a half, and I'm out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, figure you know, it out. Wow. Yeah. Hey, and and wow. look, I, I'm happy if you want to have a no crunch initiative, right? That's cool. But then don't have a release date. But All right, see, just give them open windows. Here's, here's, here's where I... That's not going to work with their model. Here's where I tie the forward. problem in with Microsoft. See, this is why not having a gaming footprint fucks up all the gaming. I see the problem... Crunch can be... Crunch is a very big challenge. But the challenge with Crunch is why it keeps getting more and more difficult is because games are costing more to develop, but people don't want to pay more for games. So they hire more people and, you know, they got, hey, you got, we still got to get this game out. We, they hire the same amount of people and they're not increasing the, the workload or they're not increasing the resources because they can't afford to do that, right? But here's where the technology could help out. You had people like the guy, uh, Carmack, I think his name was, behind Ed Software. He built one of the original complex engines and he made it to where developing on an engine became easier, but you got better fidelity. Why don't we have someone like Microsoft with all of his technology gurus, right? Helping invest in making development easy too. They, they're the richest fucking company in the world. Why aren't they doing it? Because they don't give a fuck because they're not going to be developing that long because they're not making triple A content. You see how it Microsoft, goes full circle? Microsoft would rather partner. They, I think they partner with Unreal Engine, if I'm not mistaken. That's like the direct the, the official DirectX 12 engine. Or something, I, I think it like makes that. it more powerful, but there, but the, the, yeah. the, the as amazing as the Unreal Engine output is, the development tool set is very tedious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why can't we make these development tool sets not only fantastic on the output, but friendlier to the end user? We can't do that. They can. Yeah. And I they think can. the richest company in the world can help fund that, right? If yeah, they if they, they care about AAA Absolutely. games, but they don't. They're like, oh, that's it's another a, problem it, for somebody. That's no, a Sony so, problem. Sony can worry about this. What we think this company is capable of doing. Say that again. <laughs> but for, I said, there's a lot that we think this co this company, Microsoft, is capable of doing, but for some reason, oh, on yeah, the, unbeknownst yeah. to us, they, yeah. they just don't do it. Yeah. Not uh, this Microsoft has always they that this is their their mo, bro. This is their reputation. They 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 do shit like this. They make money off Windows and all their other shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they're gonna keep doing. That's what they want to do with the Xbox brand as well. I mean, look, I mean, how terrible was the Windows Store? And the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she was just horrible. Yeah. Their that's apps. Hot, like, hot, like, like, it's a, like how could I mean, the people that how could the people that make Windows not know how to make <laughs> a store to buy shit? Just right. user friendly shit. It's, it's 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 ridiculous. That's that's Microsoft. How much data does Microsoft have? They own fucking Windows. Bro. How much data do you have, and how do you fuck that up that bad? Bro, I don't know. This is where I say I think Microsoft. Um, needs to stop advertising who's who they're picking off from Sony and going to these new studios to make this vaporware, right? Mm. Because the Windows Store is fucked up. And if you want Game Pass PC to go anywhere, which is relying on the Windows Store, then I would rather see you picking off developers. I, I would rather see the talent that you're getting from Steam 
You know what I'm saying? Or you're getting from Gog that's going to work on this Windows Store. Fuck putting out resumes or putting out acquisitions for the initiative because the initiative, I don't know what they're doing. But it's more tangible to understand, hey, they're getting top-notch developers to work on this Windows Store. This Windows Store might be something I want to invest in in the future. Okay, Game Pass PC, I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they figure they'd rather just go the route of just Game Pass and put their shit on Steam yeah. and get rid of the damn Windows Store. Yeah. That's probably that's 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 more than likely what they're gonna do, until until maybe they fix it. Because if they're not interested, right? Because you would think they'd want the Windows Store if they're gonna make quality exclusive content. You know what I'm saying? That you get only from the Windows Store and make deals to get stuff only from the Windows Store. They fix the Windows Store, but they don't have any interest in doing that. Yeah. They're gonna game pass it up, and and that's it. That's what they want. They want content to trickle into Game Pass. Right now, you could download download it on your PC, and you can download it on. On your Xbox, if you have an Xbox, and your tablet and all that shit when xCloud becomes available. Wow. And you'll you'll be getting all this, like you said, vaporware. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah. So no. with that said, and that's a good question. Do you guys think that and excuse me if I already asked this, but do you guys think that because Microsoft is picking up top notch talent, that that definitely means that the initiative is making a triple A game? Do y'all think who who thinks that on the panel? Well, we I don't think that do I think initiative is making a yeah? A that, that is for sure that the initiative is making a triple A game. I'm gonna say I want to hope so. With all, cause <laughs> they, it looks like they're hiring all the Sony talent. That that's promising. Yeah, I don't. I, think, I, don't, I thought I don't so, think right? So. Yeah, I I, I, I thought they were making a triple A game, right? Yeah. Then Mighty yeah. Moss came with the explanation. Want to go ahead and redo that one? Yeah, bro. Like if you think, about, I think about it like this. Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna ruin it for me, boss. Don't ruin it. I'm gonna me. ruin it for you. You, you <laughs> got, you it got some Kleenex. I hope you invested some Kleenex. Um, okay. So you don't you get all this AAA talent, but you don't want to say anything about hardcore gritty content, and your and your thing is is that you don't want to influence what type of games are being made, but you've already busted yourself, like I said earlier, demonstrated earlier with Rare. And see a thieves and crack down and and how we talked about scale about and other shit. So in my mind, I wouldn't per their previous actions, I wouldn't put it past Microsoft to do this. If I'm Phil Spencer and I want all this uh, um, uh, coffee shop games, if I want all these coffee shop games, why wouldn't I go get a triple A developer that's known for making a stellar game every five, six, seven years? And had that motherfucker just make catchy games every catchy double A games every two to three years. They told y'all they want first party Microsoft content for every year. They want four games every year. There is no fucking way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That even with all those studios, with the develop, if you do the math with the development time in- involved, that they're going to do that and they're going to even crank out one triple A game a year including Halo Gear, unless they're going to do Forza every other year like they normally do. That means to me that they're getting this triple-A talent that can crank out triple-A shit every eight to seven years to crank out catchy the next Fortnite or the next fucking, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, Apex Legends? Think about it. Epic Games was known for doing what? Triple-A games. Nothing but triple-A games. Unreal Tournament, uh, you know, uh, 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 Gears of War. Now what are they doing? 90% of their workforce is, is dedicated to what? Fucking Fortnite. Microsoft is looking at that and they're like, we want to do that shit. Let's get AAA development talent to make AA games at a more frequent level. What do you guys and think? They, and they got that other joint too that's like Monster Hunter too, right? What's, what's the name of that other joint that Epic threw out that you could Don't play list, cross platform? Epic yeah, didn't make that. Yeah. Oh, no? No. Yeah, they didn't make it. Oh, I oh yeah, they were going uh, to. It was just they a big thing with Epic that. Store. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was from them too. I was gonna say because they, you know, they put that shit. But, out. but, but they, uh, they did the crossplay for it. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. But yeah, I said that in the previous show myself, brother. I said the same thing. I said, bro, they're getting all that triple A top tier team. That's why they call it a quadruple A. Yeah. They break it down into two <laughs> double A's. You, you know what I mean? Hey, yo. They, 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 that's what you do. You, you. They, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna make you know yeah. decent, decent, more frequent content that they can that, that people can digest hey, nah, that they can put into game hey, pass nah, you killing them out here man come on man stop with the logic man you killing us out here man hey look uh-huh. that i because 
I said, what the fuck is a, dunk, a, a quadruple A studio? Hey, that could, you know, filling the subliminals, bro. That could be it. <laughs> we go, <laughs> they going to crank out two double A games a year. That's why they quadruple A. <laughs> well, they're going to be decent. Yeah. Put them in Game Pass, baby. That's why they, that's why it's in Game Pass. Everything Game Pass, bro. Hey, bro, that's crazy. Thought, thoughts on, okay, so we, we talked about some of the, the, the development woes, right? But let's try to be fair across the board. Let's talk about the woes of the poor old publishers, right? I mean, because we got to be honest. Cost of games have not gone up appropriately with inflation, right? And games went from, I want to say, at the beginning of the Xbox 360 generation, it for uh, marketing um, and, and development, it was like, for a AAA game, it was like around 50 million. Now you're talking about 200 million, if not more. And games are flat at sixty dollars a pop. Is there anything that we can do now? Again, don't attack the messenger. I'm just throwing this question out there. Is there anything we can do as a consumer public to help better this situation for publishers so they're not in such a crunch where it is hard to whip out AAA content? Hmm. And never everybody's like, "Fuck, I, how, I ain't." <laughs> how, how are we going? Like. Huh? How are you going to offer that kind of help? Well, I put it there too. Uh, 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 to me, there's a hard stance against loot boxes. Okay, let's let's do it. Let, let, let's pivot it that way. What is everybody's stance on loot boxes and microtransactions? Are they okay? Are they good? If they are, or are if they, they are not, good? if they are not intrusive and game breaking and mostly cosmetic uh-huh. or or, or then I have no problem with them. Okay. I don't like pay to win stuff, mm-hmm. right? Like, mm-hmm. like, you know, if you're gonna if I'm gonna be stronger than you because I bought this ten dollar item to yeah. use in the game, that's some old bullshit. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but if you wanna put that kind of game out there, I mean, but then it kind of sets a precedent and all that. Cause I'll just be like me simply, I'll be like, listen, you wanna put that kind of game out there, make bread on it, go ahead. I ain't gonna buy it. Yeah. And, and I guess a lot of people ain't gonna buy it. But if they do buy it and you can and you make money off it, go ahead, take that chance. But I, I don't like that. But other than that, I don't got no issue with microtransactions. Neethals, what's your thoughts, bro? The same as his. Okay. No, what you think? Same as his, but I don't. I also don't like having to purchase characters and like fighting games and things like that either, yeah. man. It's like you selling me. For. You're not selling me the full game. Now, you, now you're showing me on characters and. Uh, uh, stages and stuff like that. I mean, I know we, we did that last generation, but it's it's getting outrageous. Yeah. I mean, it depends. It depends what they give you as the starting content, right? Because you know, if you if you get like let's say over forty plus players, you know what I'm saying, and then or thirty five or something, and then you, while you play and you end it, you unlock new ones. And if they give you that, and then you know, four months down the line, sell a DLC pack and they make some new characters, something okay. like that. I don't see no problem with that either. Now, if they shit on you and give you like 10 characters or three, you know what I mean? Six characters and they want to sell you the rest, that's some bullshit. Yeah, that's some Street Fighter Five type shit. Yeah, that's that was some bullshit. Street Fighter Five. How do you, how do you feel about the free, uh, free-to-play model? Like uh, Killer Instinct, you start off on one character. I think that had a good idea, like good merits, but they didn't do it the best. Yeah, you didn't even... I don't even think you can play like the story mode unless you buy... Uh, no, I mean, they had a weak-ass story mode at that, though, but... Yeah, that story mode was trash. Story mode without having purchased the the full. You see, game. Killer Instinct's sad because it's actually a quality game, but they did mm-hmm. not invest into it. I guess I've ruined it, and they shouldn't. Well, no, no, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say they ruined it though. I mean, it was dope on the Xbox. Yeah, yeah they just need to that. invest into it. That was the issue. Yeah, like like, I, they 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 are going. They are probably on the road to ruining it, which uh, makes no sense to me because it's, it's it just seems like the perfect Game Pass. Shit to keep you in uh-huh. there. You're, you're, hey, you know hey, bro, look, at, look at Twitter right now. Uh, Maximilian or whatever the hell his name is, he has this whole thing trending about bringing Ki back. Yeah, it has a fan base. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, well, well, they own Double Helix, but they yeah. still can work with Iron Galaxy. They're the one who did season two or whatever. Okay, or at least buy Iron Galaxy or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I oh. go, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Noah. Am I, am I wrong to say that uh, E3 2013 
was the best E3 for Microsoft this generation? Damn. Probably not. I mean, a lot of people like that E3 from last year. I didn't care for it only because, again, it was the I'm hungry, but you keep bringing me apple juice scenario. Okay. Yeah, I, well, the E3 2018 or 17? 2018, where they showed like Metro Last Light and shit. I mean, it was a good presentation, okay. but it was all multiplats. Yeah. I want to see your footprint in games. Yeah, pe- people yeah. were just hyped off the studio acquisitions. That's it. Yeah. 2013 was hype, man. Like, no, even no, though 2013 the focus I thought was good. Was good. Yep. We had more game. We had more games uh, announced at E3 2013. Hey, bro, E3 2013. That that's the one where they announced Titanfall, bro. Titanfall. Titanfall, Titanfall is the closest thing we've had to another Gears or Halo. That's the closest fucking thing. Titanfall one. Now, my, it wasn't quite old, there, but it was the closest thing. Old Microsoft would have locked them down right away, bro. And man. they and, did. And kept, and kept Titanfall exclusive. Like, to the Titanfall two was even better. No, I, I think it's the opposite. I like Titanfall well, one more. No, no, the, well, the, the campaign, the campaign in, in two was dope. Now the, the multiplayer in one was better. Yeah, thank you. But the thing is, Titanfall, that thing was locked down because of Donnie fucking D. Phil yeah. Spencer let it go multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's that. Bullshit. Yeah. I, I, in I, fact, they should have just acquired Respawn. EA didn't even own them at the time. Yep. Yeah. They do now. That is right. Yeah, because they were just on. They just, they were part of their partnership program or some shit, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. they didn't buy them hey, until bro. after Titanfall 2. Can you imagine if they own... Damn, Microsoft just... They, Respawn? They... The people like Vince and Pell and the dudes behind the original Call of Duties? Bro. But didn't, didn't Microsoft have the option to buy Crytek at one point? They probably yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, say... yeah, yeah, they did. You want to know why they didn't buy them? Because they were known for Crisis and they already had Halo. Yeah, that was they, the reason. Yeah, they didn't want them to... Cl- yeah. Microsoft, you know what? Dumb. Microsoft, they must have... A black cat must have crossed their path and they while they were walking under an, a, a ladder and shit, right? I mean, they the not only Bioware. gave up Bungie right before they had their biggest creation to date, which was Destiny, but then they could have bought Respawn and could have further carried and, and could have rode off the coattails of the success of Apex Legends. They should have killed Bungie happy. Yeah. And, and uh, all Bungie wanted to do was just make fucking Destiny. That's it. Yeah. You had that in-house. They didn't give a fuck if it was multiplied or not. They just wanted to make Destiny. Microsoft yep. was worried about being the shooter box. But this is where, look, and I'm going <laughs> to say this because I'm not the biggest fan of all of the PlayStation games. If if Microsoft can be the, sh- if, if Sony can be the, the Kleenex tissue box, oh, this is such a riveting story. Then let Microsoft be the shooter box. It's called product placement to me. That's just my thoughts. Yeah. I, the problem is, I don't think Phil Spencer likes the idea of being the shooter box. Mm. Just look at him as a gamer. What does he play? Yeah. <laughs> Voodoo oh. Vince. His favorite story is fucking playing Voodoo Vince with his kids. That's cool and all. But you got to look at the identity. Look, Monty Moss has his own preferences. Yeah. But he won't let that get in the way of his product placement. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So. It's absolutely true. Um, so, I hate, to, I hate to, to think like this, but... You know, I think one of the, the, the last points that we might want to cover, because we got because we got to look at things from 5,000 feet, as I always say, it's an industry term. You got to look at things from 5,000 feet. And you can't just assume anything because none of us are fortune tellers. What if Microsoft is successful with this horcrux appro- approach? You know what I'm saying? What what if they are successful? What What do we see as the effects of their success as it relates to? Let's talk about devs. Let's just say if they are successful reaching the 2 billion gamers um, on phones and, and tablets and shit like that. Do we think that's going to reflect on AAA content as far as devs are concerned? Or are they going to like fray away from it? Or you think they'll still pump out AAA content? All right. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know we're in the twilight zone now. I know. I, I really don't think that for the foreseeable future, mm-hmm. they are going to be putting out any like brand new triple A IP for the foreseeable future. They're going to put more smaller, easier to make, quicker to produce games that they can put on Game Pass so that they can have everybody subscribe to Game Pass mm-hmm. and Game Pass Ultimate and and play and let everybody play everywhere where they want to play. That's that's what they're gonna do. Yep. That's 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 what that's what they're getting all these studios for, and they're gonna be making they're gonna be making money hand over fist with this. Don't get it twisted. They're gonna, but it doesn't suit our needs. Yeah. 
but you know that 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 content that these new studios is that, that's going to be triple plat and i mean that's going to be multi plat and if and if they are successful some of which are obligated to sequels which must continue to be multi plat i'm pretty sure microsoft wants that shit to succeed too like they say sony's one of their biggest partners right mm -hmm. with minecraft one of their biggest partners with minecraft yeah make him make him crazy dough so that this is it so they're not that if they can get a couple of more Minecrafts, that's what they want. Yeah. And that's what they're getting these studios to do as well. That's what they're getting this quadruple A, break them down, divide them studio to try to make some shit like that. Well, they, 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 keep, they, keep, they kept mentioning it in that Fortune magazine. Like he kept talking Minecraft, Fortnite, Minecraft, Fortnite. What do you think about that, Nethos? What, what, what impact would this have on developers if Microsoft is successful? You see, you see this as an inherent danger to uh triple a games as a whole uh well we have to see what microsoft thinks is a triple a game for example <laughs> obsidian is about to release the outer worlds do you guys consider that a triple a because i think that's more or less a borderline double a yeah teetering yeah. on triple a but probably more closer to that's a double what, a. i think that's what I, the, I will, they see it was promising as a I'm, not, I, I'm not saying the quality. I think the game looks yeah. awesome, but do you honestly think that's a triple A? I think it's closer to a double A. I think we have to see the yeah. skill of the game. The, the it, graphics it, wise, it, it doesn't look double A. I mean, it doesn't yeah, look triple yeah, A. It doesn't necessarily look double A graphic wise, but it's not an open world game like a Fallout. What is it? It's more okay. linear. Like, it has open world aspects, yeah. but yeah. I think it's not going to be a big open New Vegas or anything like that. Because, in my opinion, we we can agree here on the panel that's closer to a double A game. We could be wrong, but it's probably closer to a double A game. Mm -hmm. I think Microsoft considers that triple A though. They talk, so that should well, be yeah. that should tell you what they're gonna do. They said I don't see Obsidian putting up bigger games I, in the outer worlds. I think they just consider it worth ten dollars a month. <laughs> <laughs> they, sure thank not. you that's not. Sure. That's, that's that, what that's, it is because at the end of the day. Uh, they, the sequel to The Outer Worlds will be like a more open world version of it. That's all it is. It's not going to expand too much beyond that. I think they're going to want to keep the budgets consistent. I remember back then, me and Moss talked about this, how they were saying like, you have an unlimited budget. No, they fucking don't. They went from having a $10 million budget to maybe a $30 million budget. Yeah. To them, that's fucking unlimited. But that's not really unlimited, right? So I think these studios are going to just make the games they've been making just slightly bigger. They think of Gears 4 to Gears 5. I think the transition is going to be like that. Gears 5 is obviously a bigger game than Gears 4, but how much bigger is it really? Not probably Absolutely. by much. And the multiplayer yeah. is basically the same, just a lot more refined. I'm still very skeptical about that campaign. It sounds cool, but they're hiding it for a reason. I'm we kept saying, like, Crackdown, that game is going to be dope. The multiplayer is going to be dope, but they kept hiding the multiplayer for a reason, right? I'm not saying it's going to be a bad campaign, but I don't think it's going to be while it's chopped up to be. Hopefully I'm wrong, but I generally don't think it's going to be revolutional. I think it's going to just be kind of like God of War-ish where it has open world aspects, but I don't know. It'll be a better Gears campaign, but I don't see it being mind-blowing like how a lot of people are hyping it up to be. Hope I'm wrong, but at the end of the day, I don't see Microsoft building in these big, big AAA games like Sony is. I don't see it. Mm. I think they want to really hit the AA market. I think they want to really make a profit. They really well, wish they had the next Fortnite. But, but Moss, when you when you ask, right, when you ask, what like if it's going to hurt developers, like hurt developers of AAA games, Elsewhere, yeah. Period. Like, like if, I mean, if you like, have, like at all, if you have a, if you have a, uh, uh, the reason why I ask that question because I'm, I'm curious. Like I'm parent, I'm trying to parent to the future it's, 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 it, with this scenario. If you have Microsoft successfully reach two billion gamers with this coffee shop gaming, you might see what happened with Japanese development as the PlayStation uh, console started to lose popularity last generation. As it was starting to lose popularity, they started making mobile games because they said we got to make money somewhere. So if, if if Microsoft is making a whole bunch of money with these two billion gamers, how is, is that going to influence Sony? Well, just you know, yeah, what are your thoughts? Well, that's not gonna. That's not that'll hurt us. Yeah, more. If, if my, to me, to me, if Microsoft is successful with this, with this, it's, it's gonna <laughs> hurt us if if what they want to make are average games right let's say like a seven point like 7.5 games yeah. that they can put out more frequently so that they can keep you invested by telling you the trade-off is well you don't got to go buy a 400 500 box if you don't want to exactly you could just pay 10 bucks exactly. and play right here yep. 
And more people are going to start seeing it. Ain't nobody going to buy the box if you're not making anything worth buying the box for, yeah. right? So that that's what they want to do. And if and if that were to actually catch fire, if 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 more people people did subscribe to it and and people were satisfied with the eh, this game is I right. yeah. it's worth ten bucks a month. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if that were to happen and people are happy streaming it to to whatever previous device they got, or if Microsoft, or if Microsoft makes a little box like the Chromecast thing that Stadia wants to use, so you could whatever how, whatever route they're gonna go to get this X Cloud out there, if that shit is successful and through that with that model, which I don't think it will be, then then we'd be in trouble because there wouldn't be no AAA games being made nowhere because <laughs> well, all, all the developers are gonna want in on that. If I was Microsoft, what I would do with this X Cloud is partner up with the cell phone companies and try to offer it like within the service, like build it. I think they might do that with AT and T, honestly, especially with that whole cloud like deal they just did. They might segue into doing X Cloud stuff, which would be smart, or maybe T Mobile or whatever, right? But um, here's here's why I want to twist Mighty Moss's question. Do you think we would ever get to the point where these subscriptions are so successful? Because it's not Microsoft doing it. I wouldn't be surprised if Sony does something similar. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, Ubisoft is doing something similar, right? Mm -hmm. EA's been doing it, right? Mm -hmm. Will we ever get to the point where AAA games will be in danger of not being in a subscription? So if they release a AAA game, right? Mm -hmm. Would a game perhaps be in danger if it's not a part of a subscription as well as an option? Like where people get to the point where like they only want to pay ten bucks a month to play these games. Yeah, oh, I got you. So the all a la carte per, would all a la carte triple A purchases be in danger? Um, yeah, it could be, oh, man. I so. mean, look. The, I mean, people will always buy it, but like, would the general audience get used to subscription? Exactly. Exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use like uh, Netflix as, a, as an yeah, example. Thank you. That's, Netflix is the perfect example. Go ahead. You still got people that subscribe to Netflix and still go to the movies. Um, yeah. No, but you could also think of it this way. Um, yeah, but but think about the Netflix example at the same time. Let's look at uh, things like Star Wars, right? Uh, I hated The Last Jedi. I don't know if anyone else hates that movie. I think Moss oh, hated that oh, movie. Yeah, that so sad. Solo the Star Wars came out right after that, right? Yeah. yeah. I refused to see that in theaters, and I said, I will not watch that until it's on Netflix. You see what uh-huh. I mean? Yeah. So you can use it in that way. People might not buy these games or even check them out unless they had game pass it just i think it depends well, I mean, on what the demographic it fits in yeah, the, yeah i don't think that'll apply to everybody though i mean that you personally you know what i'm saying i mean if the next if the next star wars movie is fire are you going to go see it in the movies or are you are you, are you forever uh going to watch them on netflix I, I hope it's fire but like yeah right now i lost a lot of interest in star I mean, wars that could be- i mean that's the thing we're doing it with games right now like there's a, like a plague's tale right. noah right you actually yeah. went and bought that thing i knew yeah. that would hit a, a fucking subscription that's why i never bought it right you see right, what y'all. i mean i love that game bro right let's say yeah, if it, let's say if it, it would hit never, a subscription let's say we never had game pass, would, you, would you have bought play sale wait what if if game pass didn't exist would you have bought uh play sale who, me? Yeah, but the thing is, we're living in a world where that those subscriptions exist. That's what yeah, I'm, I'm saying. Just saying. I'm just saying, for example, like there's this games like Metro Exodus. I probably would have never even mm-hmm. played yeah, a game. That game I, too. That scream. That's gonna hit Game Pass, and it did. Yeah, but I mean, in my in my particular case, it was like, like now that I done played it, I like the game. Like you know, what I'm, saying? I'm I'm still not gonna buy it because I beat it exactly. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure like. I don't know how they split the the profits up with the company or whatnot, but you yeah, know, what I'm they, they, they don't make their money off. Might of hit the point where it really is subscriptions are what's dominant. Like a lot of people get think of that as a bad thing. Like, oh no, you're turning a bunch of sixty dollars into ten dollars. But how you have to look at it is you're turning a bunch of zeros into ten dollars. That's what's happening. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, who right. wouldn't invest into these games are now investing. Cause I'm still getting, I still, I still purchase some games day one. Like I, I got a, I'm, yeah. I'm a like I, I would buy the physical version of Gears Five if they had a good, a good limited edition. Not, not the fucking toy thing they did, I mean, but like the mid tier thing. They lost the sale with me. Now, now I don't have to buy, it. but, nope. but That's I'm going to stay subscribed to Game Pass. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm I, listen. The way that, the way I'm going to do that shit is the way that I've been saying. Right now, I got it till next November, just because of that bullshit with the. With the dollar shit, mm-hmm. so you you know for a dollar for two years, yeah, who's that? I'll do it, <laughs> and, and I'm gonna be and I'm gonna be playing all them games. Yeah. So 
and, and when I say I'm gonna be playing all them games, I mean I'm gonna play Gears and then may, hope and wish that there was something in there that I could play. I mean that Metro do look dope. Mm -hmm. It's fire, bro. It's fire. Oh, yeah, Metro like probably my favorite. Yeah, game Metro. Of the year so yeah, far. Metro. Yeah, I like. There's Rage a few games too. on there like I just like that Shadow Warrior. I mean, it, the graphics don't look that impressive, but it's pretty dope. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big shooter guy. Like my my man Dirk Griggity is a is an Xbox guy. I'm, I'm a shooter guy, so I like. Uh, let me stop for X for, for yeah. I'm yeah even I, even like the shooter guy right there. Uh, the Metro, not the Metro. Fuck, what was it? Wolfenstein. Yeah. They do a whole yeah. buddy pass and shit now, right? That's like that's segue into a, like a subscription. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they, that's not the first game. Remember they did it with that other game. Um, yeah, so, well, yeah, yeah, yes. And I want to play that game too. I, I wanted to play it, and I didn't. I usually cop them games. See, like like them little games like that. If they like thirty bucks, if they're reasonably priced, I don't I don't mind copping yeah. them. They're just not sixty dollars titles. But so the, here's the thing: we're, we're used to them. those games hitting the Game Pass and those subscriptions. What happens to the point when we get used to AAA games hitting those subscriptions? I mean, if 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 they really putting out AAA games, then yeah, like, I feel like the market's going to completely change because it's only it, Xbox it, doing it, it, it right now. Are you Everybody willing should. to wait to play this game? That's what yeah, but that's an EA and Ubisoft are doing it on the PC side, just the consoles won't allow it. Are you willing? Are you willing to wait for control? Are you willing to wait the Game Pass? Fuck you yes, I'm waiting to now? wait for Game Pass on that yeah. shit. Well, why? I mean, why is it timed? Or well, I thought it was. I thought it was just PlayStation. No, I'm just. I'm just using that as an example. Like you know, what I'm saying no, because it, that that becomes the question. Like. Oh, okay, okay. If you I, expect I, the game to hit Game Pass, now it's a question of do I want to wait for the Game Pass? Yeah. I don't want to go ahead and drop 69. And I'm no, telling no, you, no, I'm going to wait. <laughs> well, I, yeah, you. I, I guess the only thing you could do is, yeah, wait. Like, like, I will wait till whichever one comes first. Either it comes to Game Pass or it becomes reasonably priced for me. Now, mm -hmm. now the question is, now, now that you're willing to wait for Game Pass, now there's value in Game Pass. But I'm not, but I'm not going to. But I'm not going to subscribe to Game Pass until that game, the game that I like, drops into yeah. Game Pass. But That's here's the, the, here's the not, problem with I'm that. I'm not that set it and forget it kind of dude. Like, like yeah, I yeah. Said, you're, I, you're what we call a smart consumer, but a lot of people just aren't like that. Like they, they subscribe to that shit and they yeah. just leave it in there. That's and the majority what if, of people. So you waited for Metro Exodus, you waited for Control, but but what if these games keep dropping monthly? You know what I mean? Now you don't pay the hundred twenty dollars. You know, I think it average out, averages out to like ten dollars a month, so that's like one hundred twenty dollars for the year. Because, because you know, when you when you sign up for the service for the service, you're like, man, I'm gonna quit after thirty days. I'm gonna beat this game. I'm done. But then you say, oh shit, they putting this on Game Pass. Well, let me go ahead and, and, and uh, subscribe for another month so I can play this without yeah. having to pay the sixty dollars. I think that's that's, that's the goal. That's that's a good yes. value if if you really were to find something like that that can hold your attention every 30 days. But you know how gaming is. We pay for them shit straight up right now and still got backlogs. Yeah, yeah. You know, So that's a giant backlog is what Game Pass I'm, is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it to y'all like this. This is what your boy's going to do. Now, they already got me up until 20, till, till 2020. This is <laughs> Xbox. This is now I got I got on this boat. <laughs> For the you invested uh, in the brand. Man, I really mean this should go left. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got on this boat for the simple fact that I thought Xbox was gonna resurface, rise like the Phoenix, and give me some good shit. This is Windows Gaming now. You know what I'm saying? Where they want to do better for PlayStation, than they do for their own brands. So <laughs> they have to reconvince me that I want to I want to invest in Windows Gaming. My shit is lapsing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like some bad car insurance. I am not re up until I see something more than Halo, Gears, and Forza. And they got to show it to me at E3. Else, I'm going PlayStation 5. PC, I'm going Uplay Plus. Maybe a little bit of Stadia. Maybe some Steam. That's it. Fuck a game pass. Fuck a game ass. But, the, but why would you get... Why would you get Stadia though? Well, I would get before the because you can stream. <laughs> yeah. You play Plus. I would get it in 2020. I'm not. I'm not going to invest it. Well, no, I'm lying. I bought the Founders Pack, but I'm not going to. Uh, 
after <laughs> after the you get that three months right. So in twenty twenty, it's going to be free. So if I want a game on the go, my wife always takes me to Victoria's Secret, spends up all my money, and instead of me just sitting there with my hands in my pocket, I wouldn't mind playing a little bit of Division Two on my phone. You know what I'm saying? So if I got UPlay Plus that I'm going to use on my PC, and I can combine it with the free version of Stadia and stream it on my phone for that hour or two that we out, <laughs> that's why I would get Google Stadia. Oh, but right. why would? But why wouldn't you I use Xcode? Go. What? Oh, I gotta get to a checkpoint. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> well, get, the well, why, reason why? he wouldn't I, I brought up that example too. The reason he wouldn't use X on in that situation because Xbox isn't gonna allow you pay plus probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm but I, I think oh, you I pay think. Plus Yeah, you play cool. plus is gonna I'm gonna have Division and Ghost Recon, the new one and all their you play games. Uh, but but here's the thing, Mighty Moss, now that they get you play plus, will you ever buy those games? No. Exactly. So my point stands. Yeah. We're gonna. I right. think we're gonna get used to this AAA games on these services. Yeah. Whatever. It it could it could be a, it could be a slippery slope. But I see I see where I see where Knox is coming from. He's like, well, why wouldn't you just? Because I'm not invested in the Xbox ecosystem. I'll stream all my old games via my Xbox One X. You know, um, using the X Cloud for that because it's gonna be free streaming it from your X. But or streaming it from your console, but I'm telling you, Knox, I am not putting another fucking dime <laughs> into Xbox after all my services lapse. I'm talking about I'm letting Xbox Live lapse all of it because the message. Well, has no, yeah, I'm 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 on the same boat. I'm not saying different. I'm not putting another dime now. If I got Halo, of course, and I'm like I- I'm gonna get Halo Infinite. I'm gonna buy that a la carte, right? But my question is, Knox, it's available on Steam. You know Steam got a streaming service too, bro. So is Xbox going to let Steam stream it? If so, then I don't need xCloud for that either. You see what I'm saying? I mean, but with Steam, you can't stream it. Stream it directly from the server. You have to stream it from your home. No, and the reason looking, why that doesn't work no, is they, because... That new, that new service, what it does is it uses it from your home, bounces it to a nearby server, and then to your, what's it called? So it uses the power of both. I know, but my, my upload speed is like shit here. So if I'm away from home, because I haven't tried it. I didn't try it. Yeah, I've tried it. I've tried it. It's, it, it, it it's, works. It doesn't work for me because I, what's your upload speed at home? Oh, my upload is it's like 90, 90 megs. I think. Yeah, your upload speed is yeah. crazy good. Mine's like nine. Oh, Mine's shit. Mine's 25. <laughs> oh, upload shit. Upload 25. I thought mine was it, 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 uh, yeah. Like, I can't, bro. If I, if I, um, if I stream, if I, uh, Stream to YouTube uh-huh. or Mixer, and my bit raise anything higher than ten thousand. Uh, shit. Okay. It's gonna it's gonna stutter and freeze. Oh wow. Okay, wait. I'm I'm gonna run a test right now. Yeah. But no, it's it's a cool it's a cool service. Von Lamont with his drunk ass in the chat says, "MM2K, you getting a PS5? Yeah, I'm getting a PS5. Anybody here not getting a PS5? Getting them both. Okay. Who's who's uh, who's not sold on that next Xbox yet? I'm not sold on the next Xbox. Okay. No, I'm getting a PS5 for sure. Okay. No. I usually, you usually I get both. Yep. I usually I get everything, but never have I ever had the option where I didn't have to get one of the consoles. Yeah. So I'm gonna explore the option. Yeah. Getting them both, bro. Uh-huh. But why? I don't know. What's why are you getting them both? First. You have a PC. Why are you getting them both? Because I would rather play, I would rather have a console with yeah. close to the power of my PC, as long as it can deliver something. Similar to what I'm getting, I'd rather play it on console. I mean, I get... The only reason why I would see anybody getting a Scarlet, unless you got money to blow like Noah, or you're an, or you're an intern like Noah, and Phil's just going to give you one. Um, <laughs> the only reason why I would see you getting an Xbox uh, from the get-go without seeing what they have is if you're concerned about the AAA games. If you're... I mean, not a triple, the, the multiplayer games. If you're a console gamer... And all of your friends play the Call of Duties and the Battlefields on Xbox Live, and you want to keep it up with them. Then I get that, you know what I'm saying. But beyond that, I don't, I don't really see the value in getting a co- because here's here, and, and we can throw this out, and then we'll end the, the, the podcast with this. The reason why I think it's important for Microsoft to still cater in some shape, form, or fashion to the console, even though. MM2K is going to play mostly on his, his PC and he loves play anywhere is because when you don't support the main way to play a triple A game with all its bells and whistles, which is the console, when you don't support that, that sends a signal to the devs like, hold on, 
They don't give a fuck if they have high saturation. So why would I make my game and go all out to with fidelity on this console if they don't care if there's only five of them out there? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to make sure that my game is streamable. And then that's going to make the console people suffer. You see what I'm saying? That's my thoughts on it. So even though I'm going to utilize Play Anywhere, someone like a Z or maybe a Nox, I don't know if you play on PC or not, but maybe like a Nox that doesn't really play on the PC, that's going to hurt them guys. And if that happens, then we're going to see repeats of what we saw this generation where the Xbox One X enhancements got lazy development from third parties. They're like, we're not going to go all out and make this thing look too much better than a PlayStation 4 Pro because that's where our bread and butter's at. Devs may be artists, but they answer to publishers. Publishers are the suits. You know what I'm saying? So people got to put that in perspective. But what, what is everybody's thoughts on that? Y'all think that there's going to be endangerment to the fidelity on the Xbox console next gen because of Xbox's stance on they don't care if you buy a console or not? What do y'all think about that? Uh, I, th- I think so. I mean, I'm just, I, I don't want to believe it, but. Phil, Phil and Satya N- Nutella, whatever the name is, have uh, <laughs> come on, man. They haven't said anything different, man. I mean, they they've reinforced the, the idea that you know all their games are going to be on. They want the games on all the devices. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No matter how powerful or not, they, I guess they just figure, hey, if you could play it best on the Xbox Scarlet, then people will lean towards the Scarlet. But yeah, man, I don't see us getting too many uh, high fidelity games anymore for Microsoft's camp unless something drastic changes, like like someone in leadership. Do you have any thoughts on that, uh, Knox? Ah, it's just it's the same thing, man. It's the yeah. <laughs> it, it's it is it is what it is, man. The writing the writing is on the wall right now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't. I'm trying to understand again. I'm not picking on anybody in the community. I just, I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of hope that Xbox, Xbox wants to sell you on hope and community. And I think some of our Xbox brethren, well, I, you know what? I'm done with that. I'm done with Xbox until windows game proves to me that they're a valuable asset. With that being said, I think a lot of our people are eating up this whole hope and community thing. Um, if you're a console, if you're a strict console gamer, Xbox is slighting you. They've and we've already seen the proof in the pudding. The Xbox One X, you don't, you're not getting the most out of this five hundred dollar box. You have a two hundred dollar counterpart that has a God of War game that looks better than anything on the Xbox One X until maybe Gears of War Five. That's ridiculous. So if they got that mantra and it's going to be even worse, le- uh, uh, less saturation next generation, it's going to be even worse, right? You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't get it. What do you think about that, Neithal? Do you think that's going to be a, a uh, a danger going into next gen, less support for the console. Uh, it, who it fucking knows, man? It's Xbox. It, <laughs> it only. Right it, now. No, I mean, it'll 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 absolutely it'll absolutely destroy them if this Game Pass thing of theirs doesn't take off. And if it doesn't take off, and they can't right the ship quickly enough, and be like, well, you know what? Hey, we got that Scarlet out there. It's the let's say it happens to be the most powerful because we don't know which one's going to be the most powerful yet. Mm-hmm. So. But if it happens to be the most powerful console, well, hey, we got the stronger console. Uh, Game Pass ain't doing too well. Let's start putting that content out there and, and start getting exclusivity deals back and all that shit. Then so be it. But if but if that Game Pass stuff takes off, they I think they eventually will phase out the console and not really care yeah. about the whole thing going forward. Wow, and that'll be a, that'll be the end of the lineage, man. That that'll be and, that, and, that, and, that, and that'll suck. Yeah, to me. We'll have to do. We'll have to do the official RIP Xbox podcast if that happens. <laughs> because because people be like, well, no, because console gamers, right? Because this is people's argument too. They say, well, I like playing on console. I'm a console gamer, so I'm still going to go out and buy that console. I'm sure there are going to be people like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, but I me, mean, if if I can download the stuff, because when th- with this X Cloud stuff, are you gonna you're gonna be able to download to your PC, right? Um. You, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Right, because if I if I'm doing like Game Pass, that's that's part of Game Pass. If I got Game Pass, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, I I can download it to to my Xbox or Game Pass Ultimate. I could download it to my PC mm-hmm. as well, right? Yeah. So, well, you, you know, know you, you can stream it. You can stream. Um, no, but we 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 we. Remember, well, uh, well, I imagine like you can download the first party games and whatever is available on the Windows yeah. Store, but. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it, it, it had, yeah, it has it to, has be, to be available on the Windows yeah. Store. That, that yeah. Scoo, that would be a different Scoo, and if it's if it's available, if that if that different PC Scoo is available in the Game Pass library, then yeah, definitely you can download it. You know, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like that, no, but so you you mean to tell me that not every game in yep. Game Pass for PC mm-hmm. is downloadable to the PC? No. No, uh, no, Game Pass oh, PC. Yeah, yeah. yeah all yeah, those yeah, games yeah, are yeah, you're right. Yeah, you are. You yeah, said yeah, Game yeah. Pass, but there are two different Game Passes, though. Like, yeah, no, well, Ultimate, Pass, Ultimate Ultimate includes all three. Ultimate yeah. includes Xbox. No, no, no. Yeah, but they don't they don't have the same library of games. No, I, no, no. I know. But, okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. But but I can still get on there for that ten bucks, right? Mm-hmm. And the first party games are going to be there, like Gears and all that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fifteen. Well, hold on. Wait, yeah, fifteen. Well, no, 15. he's saying he's saying if he just gets the PC version, oh, just gets the uh, and uh, he can, and he can utilize play anywhere. That's a smart thing. See, you finessing him, man. Yeah. That you can. Yeah. I kind of yeah. said that in the you video, an yeah. earlier video. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yep, I kind of said that in the yeah. earlier video. You know, yeah. like because, buy it off of Steam uh, and it, and it'll be play anywhere because it's an Xbox game. And the thing is, and as long as I can yeah. natively download it and not only have the streaming, I can download it to my PC and yeah. play. Play those games now. If I want to play the ones for console, mm-hmm. but I, but that's what I'm saying. People will be willing to make those that trade off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially but, when you don't. Yep. You mentioned. I don't think you'll be able to play this. Yeah, yeah. You game can pass. buy games natively off Steam, but like I don't think I'll let you do X Cloud and shit like that off that version. Well, no, you no, may no, not no, be able to do X Cloud, but you can do Steam, Steam version. version. Yeah, not on, You'll do Steam's. Uh, but not, not on Game Pass. So you'll have to. You'll have to buy it outright get- on Game Pass. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, to play it on Steam. Yeah, it's gonna be only the only whatever's available on Game Pass for that time. You have not, access, not, but not on Steam. Not on Steam. No, no, not on Steam, but on Game Pass. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. You can just download it, right? It's gonna be everywhere. Yeah, that's their intent. So, no, well, I mean, I'm just saying, never has the option to not have to buy the console and still be able to yeah. get all the benefits <laughs> for less money or yeah you know what I'm yeah, see, that, that's where they fuck up i don't get why they want to go that route where like the console there's still money to be made there like you can do what sony's doing make the, the console the first hand experience and you can still do the side hustle stuff because sony's doing similar things just in the background they're just setting exactly. it up exactly it's never gonna get to the point where the console players yeah. will feel like they're unwelcome that's, unique. that's all i've been saying you know why <laughs> they're doing this though this is why i tell everybody to be careful when you say microsoft wants to solely be third party they don't want to solely be third party. They want to be Steam. See, Microsoft is looking at yeah. it like this. We make most of our money off of us selling third party games. If they go third party, they don't get that opportunity. So they're trying to be a store. They want to put, and that's why they want to put their shit everywhere. They're willing to take that hit paying Steam their 30% or paying whatever that 30% as long as their shit is everywhere. In their minds, access everywhere will mean that it'll be more sales and more money for them. But if they oversaturate themselves, they run the risk of people not caring for their product it, or, or seeing that there's no really no 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 ur- sense of urgency to go buy the product. It's everywhere now. It's on every street corner. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? So I think that's the risk that they run. But with yeah. that being said, oh, go ahead, Nikos. I just want to do one last point. So we know that Google is basically what Microsoft wants to kind of become in ways at Google Stadio, right? Yep. Uh, the difference is Microsoft has advantage, but they already have a first party lineup and Microsoft technically has a console on the market. So people can buy the console and feel rest assured that, oh, okay, at least I have a native running thing, right? Or even they can do it on PC. Do you think, who do you think would win the war? Because Google's coming out first, but Microsoft has native support and a first party lineup. Uh, who do you think I- is going to win the war? Microsoft has the advantage. Microsoft they, has like, a humongous advantage. Will they take advantage of the advantage that they have? I don't. That I don't know. Because Google has a lot going against it, but the thing is, the motherfucker is in your hands now. Yeah. Like, but if Xbox is off, all Google's got to do is get exclusives, mm-hmm. get exclusive mm-hmm. content. Yeah. Get something I don't, I don't that think that's an issue with Google. That's the thing. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. And that's where they'll. That's where they will be able to hurt yeah. Microsoft. I think. I think they'll dominate. It with the to to Knox's point, I think they'll dominate on PC with the culmination of the fact that the, if they get exclusives and they keep getting these third party deals where you play plus maybe EA Access Origins Premier will allow them to add their services together to stream their shit. Then I think they'll have a benefit on PC because let's be hey, a- hey bro, you know Google knows their partnerships. Like you look yeah. how they got uh, that Google Home shit into everyone's home. Exactly. You, you right. buy the Samsung Galaxy, you get this Google, whatever. I mean, right? I know they had a lot of failed initiatives, but 
Google scares me, but Google doesn't. Google knows how to get that shit into your home. Hey, you buy the new Samsung Galaxy S12 or 13, whatever the fuck it is, right? Yeah, you get three months of Google Stadia. I'm, I'm, they have they have a, a history of stop supporting. Yeah, um, they do. But I don't. But you know, here's here's the thing. If you look at, I don't think that Google right now is at a place where it has to be your premier system. Like homie, yeah. homie, dragon more, dude. <laughs> like things. I like, don't know what the fuck you yeah. doing. Yeah, really imposition to be. Yeah, data caps probably, all that uh, shit. Platform. It yeah. really isn't. Yeah, it's only thirty games. Yeah. Um, as of right, as of right now, they haven't announced anything new. The, the, the game that you get with it is a free to play game. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. Uh, so far, I don't think it works on Apple products. Mm-hmm. Because Apple's coming up with their own game, and uh, you know, Apple Apple's not an open um, source. I mean, I'm mean, not source. They're not an open platform. Yeah. So they have to get permission from Apple to put that app on on Apple devices. I, I, like I think at the jump, you're only gonna be able to play it on Google Pixel phones and on Chromecast. Yeah. Yep. Maybe Google Chrome. Oh, but Google has what? I saw a year to get this shit working. That's what I'm saying. Microsoft's gonna be a year late, aren't they? Yeah. Like, no, Microsoft uh, is dropping. You know, that beta already. Come out, hey, dropped a dude, that beta was supposed to come out January. But the beta was coming out in October. Uh, it's October. not coming out. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, what that, I'm saying. That interview was before E3. Like it wasn't that long before yeah, E3. Long before he E3, laughed right. at the idea of even doing a beta. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, hold on. It came out before E3, and then E3 he said the yeah. beta was available in October. Yeah, dude. Uh, they they said they, they, they said last year it was going to be available in January. I, I, until they come out with an official date, delayed. That's yeah. Until the, I mean, we saw we saw the same thing with Crackdown. Remember when Aaron Greenberg had that tweet deleted where he said Crackdown something and and, and what was your boy Soul King? So yeah. King went to the nether regions and found the tweet. <laughs> like Young Soul, that's yeah, what Young, it was. Soul, like, Young Soul, Young Soul. But here's the thing: even at E3 stage, they're talking about streaming from your console to your phone too. Like that shit sounded fucked up. Yeah, I mean, Google put something in your I'm hand, so for, I think control, at least for- that's an option. It's not they're not saying you can't stream from their servers. It's saying if you want to stream it from your house, uh, too, we we don't even know prices or anything like that. I doubt that shit's even free now. That we don't, but as far as content concerned and and uh, accessibility, uh, Microsoft has the advantage. All they have to do is. I look at it know, like this. I don't know about accessibility. I, I look at I look at it like this. I mean, I get it I'm to not. where they're everywhere, but if you chop up each individual platform that they're in, okay, you look at PlayStation now. When PlayStation Now goes day and day, they may not go day and day to launch, but they said it in those slides that their mainstream delivery of their mainstream games is going to be PlayStation Now. So that means eventually they're going to go day and day. And maybe every device that um, Google Stadia will work on, mm-hmm. every like every um, Linux or Android device, yep. X Cloud will work on too. But let me it's, but, it's but Google, think about Google it like this: think about it. They can't tell. They can't tell Microsoft. You can't. Uh, you know, release X Cloud here. Think about that's, it like this, though, not- Noah. Okay, yeah. so console, PlayStation uh-huh. Now is going to operate very similar to X Cloud. I mean, to Game Pass. Wh- which one are you going to go? Wh- which one you think Cas is going to go with, with PlayStation it's Now a- or X uh, X Cloud? I mean, if they're like, if they're day and date, if their shit is day, day and date, date they're, <laughs> they're going with PlayStation. Uh, as of right now, PlayStation Now would have the advantage, in, well, as far as like first party, yeah. Games, yeah, because they're you know, and I mean, third party is going to want to work with PlayStation. Yeah, and place, more. yeah, exactly, and, and, and you know, yeah, they're going to want to increase that that relationship. So Sony they, wouldn't put their games <laughs> there, bro. And, not, and, not, and I know, and I know they're uh, they're using Azure servers, but that, that's that's what really gets me about Microsoft. Like, you really don't see the other guy across the street doing the same exact thing as you. You don't see them as a competitor. <laughs> like, they, yeah. well, because Microsoft, no, rather than them. Money. Yeah. yeah, they'd rather just suck the money out of them. Pause. Yeah, they're making money but off. Don't, they don't understand that PlayStation Now could potentially eat up X Cloud. They, they, they don't. They don't yeah. give a fuck they, about they X don't think, like that. They it's don't not the think. Long haul. They don't think logically the way that we do. If you, if they could potentially make money from you, then you are an ally no matter what you say or you do. They uh, cannot yeah, okay, so, uh, until, until Sony gives uh, makes enough money. Think about it like this, Noah. Think about it like this. You got Amazon Prime. You got Amazon Prime? Do I? Yeah. Yeah. You watch The Boys or you heard of The Boys, the new show? I've heard of it. Okay. Does that service compete with Netflix in a way? Not not a big competitor, but does it compete? Yeah. Netflix uses Amazon servers. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. That's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, but for them just, to be so open and yeah, I don't know, man. They, they want to be like the, yeah. X Nintendo isn't not, here. I'm not for the saying this is more strategy for them, but that's the, that's their man. Yeah, they rather Nintendo and Sony go and kill it, and then they be the backbone, get the money off. They it. could never yep. make money off of Amazon. They can never they make money off of Google. That these companies so that's could why potentially they make tons of money mm-hmm. and 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 finance their own backbone. Mm-hmm. That, like, that that'll be very costly. To make it on server farm. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you can't just do that shit. Yeah. That shit will be hey, these, hey, these, hey, these hey, few hey, companies, these few well, companies. Look, Netflix, companies Netflix started Netflix started very small. Amazon started Amazon started off as just Yeah, but the thing is they invested at the right time. Now you can't Sony's just do not that shit. Yeah, Sony's not in it. Look, after they got hacked, everybody in response to their hack, Noah, got two way authentication. <laughs> Sony got two-way authentication in response to their own hack know. several I'm years later saying. after everyone else. Sony does not care about, about how, that. How small a competitor it is, bro. You can't. And, and, you but can't even think, look at that. You used that example wrong, though. Netflix still didn't do their own shit. They went to Amazon. Mm, yeah. Netflix, uh, Netflix actually, I mean, they, they making tons of money, but they got other things. No, they're, they're not making tons of money. Netflix is still bleeding money because they're trying to make yeah, so much content. Yeah, they're in a real but they, but but yeah, but they're trying to. They're, they're, but they're, yeah, they're getting money fast, but they're spending it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I say they got a lot. They got like, uh, I think I heard they got like. Like Lost Disney Plus is gonna do the same shit. So was that uh, HBO Max. Yeah. yeah. That'll be some interesting. Netflix, shit. Netflix might eventually just be a. Uh, yeah, but do you know who's not bleeding from all that shit? Fucking Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Amazon. They're like the richest. That's company. why Microsoft they look at the Amazon model. And that yeah, shit. it's true, bro. Yeah. That's, a very, that's, a, oh, that's a very good comparison. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, with that said, I, I don't want to hold up uh, Knox too. Li- I know he got to get up early. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, I think we, we we can wrap this up. Man, hey, this was a great discussion. Um, but officially again, man, and I thank you guys for being here for this monumentous monumentous event. I just made that word up. Um. We are officially putting Xbox on the hard knock digital cultures anti hardcore list. They're they're horrible, man. And everything that they've done over the last several years um, has gone against hardcore content um, in a way that we've never seen Xbox do before. And I just hope that they aren't successful. I mean, look at look look what E three turned into because they didn't want to show hardcore content. Imagine that times ten. If Microsoft is successful. So we just got to keep that in mind. With that being said, I want to thank everybody for coming today. My homie Neethals, my homie Noah, and my homie Dean Knox. Thank you. I know you got tired of me calling you Dean, man. But I. I, 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 (laughs) My name, brother. Why would I get tired of that? (laughs) But uh, I appreciate you coming back on, man. We got to do this again, definitely. Um, All right, let's let's, let's go through outros, and uh, I'll start with you, Dean. What you you getting into, bro? Just talk to your channel and all that good stuff, man. Oh, man, yo. Yo, it was was awesome, man. It was awesome discussing this stuff with you fellas today. Definitely enjoyed myself, man. Had a great time, bro. Thanks for having me, man. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, um... Yeah, man. Um, in Knox, we trust right here on YouTube. Y'all can go over there, check it out, subscribe and all that. I, I will be putting out some new content soon. You know what I mean? It's just uh, been dealing with some stuff. Like I said, yeah. those 12-hour shifts ain't no yeah. joke. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, and um, Xbox Nation on Wednesdays and um, the next podcast on Saturday, man. Check those out too, man. Y'all ready. Definitely. And we're going to get you rocking and rolling for your impromptus, man. Definitely. That was, that, that was some dope shit, man. Definitely. Cool. Cool, thanks, brother. No doubt, no doubt. But look, um, Noah, what you getting into besides calling me six o'clock in the morning to play Fallout, man? <laughs> hey, check your boy out, man. I'm seven <laughs> up here gaming on YouTube. You know, check out the channel, man. Got gameplay video for days. Be on there with the with the broadband bullies with my homies Neff and MM2K, man. And even though MM2K be ducking me, <laughs> no, that, you can thank my wife, man. <laughs> she was not having like, me playing these games, man. Two o'clock. We're gonna jump on this Fallout yeah. series. <laughs> be like three thirty. Moss, what's good, man? Where you at? <laughs> oh man, yeah. I hate cake. <laughs> but we know we doing it tomorrow, bro. 
for sure. She 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 thing. she works late tomorrow, so we good. Hey, one and the DLC drop tomorrow. Oh, no. oh, is that what? It, is that what? It, oh shit! Yeah, bro. Hey, man, we gotta slow the pace down a little bit, man. We gonna stream it here though. We gonna stream it here though. But you, man, you can't That's be doing. Bad. You can't do that ADHD shit all over the place with Fallout. Yeah, keep up, man. Keep up. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to mention the um the, the channel. Um, are you still got future content coming with um um how does it perform? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drop some. Uh, I'm gonna work on something this week. Matter of fact, cool. Uh, so you can see some frame rate analysis of games that aren't on Digital Foundry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yep. See how well these games perform on console. It's hard for me. I can't double dip, man. So most of my uh, analysis be on the Xbox, but yeah. I try to get it on PlayStation too. Gotcha. Nethels, what's going on with you, bro? Oh, Nethels. Is- Nethels <laughs> dropped out. Uh, uh, dropped out. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. And you know what your boy's doing. I'm doing my daily medicine videos. You know what I'm saying? Check it out Monday through Friday. Uh, we also got Scram Punk's podcast on the Homie Dirk Griggity's channel. Check it out tomorrow, 9 30 p.m. Eastern. And I also got a special, a special podcast with your homie, um, Will Sink from uh, Xbox Uncut podcast. We're going to be doing um, a special prognosis this Thursday, 9 30 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. So check it out. With that being said, I appreciate everybody coming through. Vaughn Lamont, you know what I'm saying? X Beyond. Um, Yo, what up, Vaughn? You know what I'm saying? And everybody sure. else watching the show and on demand, thank you very much. You all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace. Peace out.